Okay, so here's my setup uh, to use electrolysis to de-rust uh, some components. Uh, the piece I'm working on right now is a hood hinge for a 72 Trans Am. I'll take a close picture of the mating partner to it here in a little bit uh, so you can see how they look before. Um, what I've set up here is a tub. Uh, I have uh, two anodes uh, which is your sacrificial pieces. I have a piece of angle iron. Uh, you'll see there the C-clamp tying it to copper wire running around to another piece of uh, angle iron. The uh, reason why I've done this with two pieces, um, this is a relatively large piece and this process is a line of sight so um, it, it, it'll only work uh, in direct line of sight from the cathode to the anode, which the cathode is your piece that you're trying to clean. And make sure that you have your negative lead uh, on your cathode and your positive lead on your anode. The solution uh, is simply water. thing you'll notice is uh, the anodes are carbon steel. You do not want to use uh, stainless or stainless because it lasts longer. But what happens is it creates a high chromium solution in your water which is very toxic. Uh, it is a regulated uh, waste stream. Uh, it's actually illegal to dump. So uh, this is a completely a harmless water solution. Um, it'll be a high iron content when we're done uh, and you can basically pour it on your lawn. Uh, so uh, let's see how it works. Don't forget to mention uh, I'm hooked to a battery charger here. Um, and I'll be adjusting the distance potentially from the anode to the cathode uh, if I'm running too much current. You can separate that a little bit um, for the size. Charger, but it does trickle down, so I'm, it'd be better to actually have. Off. They, they actually work a little better, but this is what I've got, so I'm going to try it. Thanks. Turn the charger on, and it boosts up. Beautiful. And you can see, it's about 2 amps. 